Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. I used to be G&G &G Electronics, but now I am DIYelectronics.com. Um, short story, long story. Um, somebody else has gngelectronics.ca up in Canada, and uh, I was the better guy, and I changed my name, and I gave him G&G &G Electronics, so there was no competition you know, on, on the web and whatnot. But anyways, that's another, that's a story for another day. Um, today, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to briefly go over um, the W1209 temperature controller. Basically, what this thing is for is you want to monitor, um, say, a server room, a fish tank, you know, a summer home that, you know, you're the caretaker for. You want to go by and see if the heat's on without even actually going inside. You can have an indicator come up in a window telling you, you know, that the temperature is dropped below what the thermostat set at. Blah, 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 blah. But anyways, this scenario we're, we're going to do today is let's pretend that we have this in a server room and you want to set it up so that if the temperature gets too hot, that the relay will kick and it'll turn on a fan to cool down the, uh, the server room. Well, it could, it could turn on an AC too. All right, so what we'll do is we'll, we're gonna put this to the side for right now. And let's go over the programming. I, I'm gonna go over the whole programming right through there. But uh, I know my camera sucks, I, I'm sorry guys. Let's see if I can, see if I can uh, clear that up a little bit. Uh, it looks pretty good there. But anyways, um, so position zero is cool or heat. When you have it at C, you want the area where you're at to cool down. So you would set it with C. If you hit heat, it means that the area you're in, when it gets too cold, you want it to call for heat. So our situation, we're going to be um, calling for it to cool down because it's going to get too hot. This hysteria, they call it, uh, freaking Chinese, um, is 0 0.1 to 15. What that does is it gives you temperatures of either side of your set temperature. So this one's set at one degree. So if you got your temperature set at 28 degrees Celsius, you could set this up so that that will go off at 29 degrees Celsius just to give yourself a little leeway. All right. Um, P2 high temp, you always leave that at 110. P3 lowest temp, always leave that at minus 50. Probe correction, that's pretty nice for this. That's how you calibrate this probe. All right. If you have any way of calibrating the temperature in a room and this is off a couple of degrees, you can calibrate it through the probe correction. You can either um, go all the way down and take away seven degrees off your probe or add seven degrees to your probe. All right. So that one, eh, not too many people will play with that. Delay. So that say that your, um, the unit gets to your particular temperature, you can have a delay from zero to 10 minutes before the relay will kick on. Don't touch P6. Just leave it alone. If you start messing with P6 and you take it off of 110, it will turn this thing into a brick. It'll just go L, 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 L all the way across and you can't do nothing with it. So leave uh, program spot six alone. All right. So now let's go into program. I'm just going to briefly show you how to go into program. Um, and hopefully you guys had time to, you know, write this down. Let me see if I can get it in there all at once so you can pause the video and see it. Yeah, that'll that'll do it right there. I got to get a better camera. I'm telling you, it's right there. Pause it. That we can write it down. Okay, so let's go into program. The far left button is what they call set. The center button is positive. The far right button is negative. All right. So now, to get into program, press and hold set for six seconds. You're at PO. That's the um, heat you hit it again, and we're at cool because we're gonna we're gonna set that up for cool um, Hit the center button once it goes to P1 which is 
your hysteria your your whatever the hell it is and that is oh i fell out of program i was talking too long but anyways to go back in the program just press and hold till it comes up to p0 p0 is already set p1 that's the hysteria i got it at one degree hit the center one p2 is high temp and that's set at 110 hit set again hit the center button brings you to p3 which is low temp I got that set at minus 50. Hit set again. Hit the center button. P4. That's the probe correction. I just got the set at zero. Hit the set again. Hit the center button for P5, which is delay. I got that set for zero. Hit the thing again. Hit the center button in P6. And that is set it off. And that's, oh, I'm sorry. That says 110. But yeah, make sure that's off. All right. And that's all the programming. Well, I'm sorry. I forgot that is OFF. O F F. Oh man, my hands don't even want to work. O F F. <clears throat> so remember, P6 is off. All right. So now this thing is Celsius only. All right. So to set the temperature that you want to trip your fan in your server room to come on to cool it, how you do that is you press the set button once. And there's your temperature. Right now it's set at 23.1 degrees Celsius. You go over here to my handy dandy chart. And that's 73.4 degrees. And this relay will kick on if it gets to that temperature. All right. Oh, wow. I mean, we're like two to tenths of degree to off. <clears throat> Let's wait for that to fall back out. Okay, let me just put this in my hand and I clicked on. Okay, let me get my ice pack. I just because it was it was the temperature was real close. So let's let's I'm gonna press and hold that one second and I'm gonna bring this up. I'm gonna bring that up to 24 degrees Celsius, which is 75.2. All right. So now there is a lamp right here. That's what this is wired into there's the lamp i'll just put this down here real quick all right i'm going to take the probe and put it in my hand so this is going to go off at 24 degrees celsius so i got it in my hand and there it is it goes on i'll take my ice pack i'm going to cool it down so just pretend this this lamp is a uh, a fan so now watch once that gets down below 24 It'll shut the lamp off. And there we go. And that's how you, that's how you deal with a W1209. Hey guys, have you ever seen anybody use 20, 22 gauge wire to run 110 through one leg? That's me. <laughs> I'm sure I was going to get some comments about that. You're running 110 through that 22 gauge wire? Come on, guys. It's just a test. But anyways, that is how you um, wire up and program a W1209. Just say, you know, just say for a server room. There's all kinds of different applications. All right. And again, guys, I am diyelectronics.com check out my website i used to, i also have my other website too pixiekits.com everybody knows me over there and there's your program again real quick and you're all set guys thank you very much